Hi everyone, this is Ryan and uh, today we'll be talking about phases of the market, a very important topic. Alright, so let's move on to the slides. Phases of the market. Now you'll be surprised that a lot of traders, right, and some of them could be very experienced traders, they do not understand phases of the market. Right, this means that when they're trading, they don't even know what the market is doing right now. Right? So this is a very, very important topic to wrap up your whole basic Forex series. Right? Uh, and uh, this phases of the market alone, right? this today's topic alone is probably worth a few hundred dollars. Right? I'm not afraid, I'm not ashamed to say that this is worth a few hundred dollars alone. All right? Why? Because this is super important. Right? And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. The market has a very specific way that it moves. Right? And I'm going to share it with you in today's lesson. All right. Okay, so a lot of traders lose because they do not understand the market movement. Right? Traders trade by identifying patterns in the chart and hoping it continues. Right? By understanding phases of the market, we need to know how the price moves. All right, now um, in the next slide, I'm going to be showing you how the price moves. Right? And the price only moves in this way. There's no other way that price moves. Okay, so the price will have, sorry, the, the market, right, the market price is either trending or ranging all right let this idea sink in the market price is either trending or ranging there is no other way the market moves all right so a lot of traders are losing money because when they see a trend they trade the trend strategy and when they see a range they trade a range strategy Right now, you might be thinking, nothing wrong with that, Ryan. When I see a trend, I trade the trend strategy. When I see a range, I trade the range strategy. Yeah, that's what 90 to 95% of the traders out there are doing. And look, they're all losing money. Right? Why is that so? Because most of the time, when we see a trend, it's too late. Right? You're too late. By the time you see the trend, it means that the trend has already formed. The trend is ending. If the trend is ending and you trade a trend strategy, you are going to lose. Does it make sense? All right. So this is how the market moves, right? You will see a trend and then it moves into a range, right? So if we know that after a trend is going to be a range, how can we take advantage of this fact to be profitable in our training? When you see a trend, do not trade a trend strategy. What do we want to do? We want to trade a range strategy. All right. When you see a trend, trade a range strategy. And when you see a range and you trade a range strategy, you're too late because by the time you see a range, the range has already been formed. That means that the range is ending and it's going to be a trend soon. So when you see a range strategy, do not trade the range, right? Trade the trend strategy. What is a range? So let's say you have a support and a resistance, two lines, and the price is bouncing up and down in between these two lines. That's a range. The price is ranging. So a lot of people, will, a lot of uh, traders will say, okay, buy at the bottom, sell at the top, right? So what happens? You see a range by the time you trade, sell at the top. Oh, the price goes further up because the, it's a trend already. Or when you see a range, you say buy at the bottom, right? The price keeps bouncing up, buy at the bottom. When you buy, the price goes all the way down. Why? Because the range has ended, all right? So when you see a range, trade a trend strategy. All right, so this is how the price moves. Trend and then range and then trend or trend range reversal. What does it mean? So it means that the price is going uptrend, then your range and then it will continue uptrend again, right? Or you see uptrend, the price ranges and then reversal, it goes downtrend, right? Very rarely we will see uptrend, downtrend immediately, right? It's normally uptrend, range, 
downtrend. All right. So we always say that we, we always see the price moving in this way. Trend, range, trend or trend, range, reversal. Only these two ways. No other ways. All right. So remember this slide, right? Remember this slide. This slide alone is worth a few hundred dollars, right? Okay. It's going to be the difference between you as a successful and profitable trader and the other 90% traders who are losing money every single day. All right. So what are the types of trend, right? We have two different types of trend, uptrend and downtrend. That's all. There's no sideways trend, right? Sideways trend is known as a range. All right. Okay. So uptrend and downtrend. So how do we identify an uptrend or a downtrend, right? By using your eyes and looking at the chart. That's all. If it's going upwards, it's uptrend. If it's coming downwards, it's a downtrend. How do we know that the price is moving upwards? When the price is making a series of higher highs and lows, right? So higher highs and lows. In the next slide, I'll show you what is it all about, right? Downtrend, price is making a series of lower lows and highs. All right, so this is an uptrend, example of uptrend. So very clearly, without using any indicators, we know that this is uptrend because the price is moving upwards. All right. And then look at this series of higher highs. All right. Series of higher highs. Okay. And series of higher lows. Look, the, when it comes down to form the low, the lows are all getting higher and higher and higher. All right. Okay. So series of higher highs and higher lows very clear uptrend what about downtrend downtrend is the opposite we get a series of lower lows and lower highs all right so lower lows all right lower lows lower lows and lower highs lower highs lower highs lower highs all right so it's a series, right? Not one lower high and one lower low. One lower low and one lower high does not make a downtrend, right? A series of lower lows and lower highs makes a downtrend, all right? What if you look at the chart and you're confused? You don't know. Is there lower high, higher low, whatever? Like if you look at this chart, right? So look, the chart came down low and then, okay, high. Lower low, lower high. Is this a downtrend? Right? Higher low. Look at this. This is a higher low. Lower high. And then lower low again. Right? See, look at this. Look at all the lows. Right? There is it's, it's not coming downwards. Right? And look at the highs. Right? Look at the highs. It's not going upwards or downwards. Alright? Okay? And then after that, it went up. Now we have a higher high and a higher low. All right. Okay. So when you look at a chart like this, let me refresh the screen. All right. So when you look at a chart like that, you're confused. Right. Is it uptrend or downtrend? You're not sure. That means the price is ranging. All right. Ranging. All right. Look at this. A lot of people like to draw range, right? Support, resistance, right? Buy here, sell here lose money all right so when you see a range what should you do trade the trend strategy remember this and you're going to be more and you're going to be profitable right more profitable than 90 percent of all the traders in the world out there all right okay so this concludes today's very very important lesson on phases of the market all right so we have come to the end of the uh basic forex trading series all right and uh, so i wish all of you good luck in your trading and i'll see you in the next video bye bye